Good morning. I recently had an epiphany and my big realization was that even though I'm working so hard to become plastic free across my whole home, there was an area that actually still had a lot of bits of plastic in it. And these are things that I touch almost every single day. And so I realized that as I wear things out and use things up, it's time to make some replacements. One of the first things that really caught my attention was we use a lot of cycling bottles like this when we cycle and you need a bottle brush to clean these and so my cycling partner and diving partner Bill had found online the perfect brush however I hate this brush because honestly it looks like something you would clean the toilet with and when it arrived I was horrified because it's so useful it works perfectly the bristles are soft however it's all plastic and it even came with a plastic base like you were supposed to display this thing in your kitchen and i'm always having to hide it away when guests come so i looked online and found a great replacement for it and it's this just a basic brush uh, it's like a bore bristle with metal and a wooden handle this is something that every single part of it can be recycled and a little bit less harmful for the environment. So as I started looking around, I realized that there were a lot of other things in the kitchen that were equally noxious. And one of those is sponge. Okay, cellulose sponge. And you know, if there's anybody in the house who doesn't really dry them out really well, they smell horrible. And all this is probably just plastic. So I looked online and you can see a whole stack of them back here because I bought in bulk. And I found some that have plant fibers and natural fibers to create the sponge. I'll leave a link to it below. And so far, these don't smell. They're, the colors aren't fantastic, but they're no worse than any of the other colors. They look pretty good in the kitchen and so far works great. A couple of other things that I wanted to do was I wanted something for scrubbing pots. And so I found these Chore Boy and these are copper. So that way they don't rust. In the past, I've used the metal pot scrubbers, and the problem is that they end up rusting and they end up making a big mess in your sink and they leave some stains. And so with copper, these are great. I also bought them in bulk. I think I got a dozen of them, so they ought to last quite a long time. They're not terribly sturdy, so the fact of having a lot of them, they're gonna last a long time, but I anticipate this will probably last no longer than about four weeks. However, it's copper, can be recycled. The other thing I invested in was a couple kind of like scrub brushes, vegetable brushes, and I might have to take the little cotton string off of them so that it doesn't get wet and icky, but this came in a set of two, really nice. They actually don't look that bad sitting around the sink where all the plastic varieties really are rather unattractive. Just for grins, I'm performing a quick sweep of the kitchen just to check and see how good have I actually been at eliminating plastic. I still have a roll of paper towels, which I'm working on that. I try and make them last about, gosh, six months, and I try to use them only for really, really messy things, not for just everyday wiping up. Instead, I use cotton towels, and there's some cotton towels over here. I see that I do have a plastic this is like a, it keeps the flour from poofing out on my mixer. And there are some bottles that had some vitamin D and they are plastic, but all of my canisters are glass. Uh, here's another piece of plastic over here. Bottle of vanilla from Mexico and Bill's E-Tech e City. <laughs> it's hard to say. His uh, thermometer that he takes the temperature of everything with. Uh, let's see, anything else? These are all my new finds, my really awesome. There's my new sponges next to the old. There's the new brush next to the old. And here is the impetus for getting the wooden brushes was this, this one has been great because it holds some dish soap, but it's just so grungy looking and hasn't lasted all that long. And actually uh, pretty unattractive to have all that plastic. There is a plastic lid on top of this milk bottle that I use, and that's about it. A little bit of a drying right there, but for the most part, I have managed to eliminate all unnatural materials and plastics from the whole kitchen, so I'm very pleased with that. That was kind of the big impetus that I wanted to be surrounded 
by things of beauty, wood or natural fibers, and I didn't want to touch plastic things every day, and I wash dishes every day. I clean counters every day. And I really have almost eliminated plastic completely in the bathroom and now almost completely in the kitchen. So I'm considering this a success. I'll leave links to everything below. If you like my content, subscribe. Uh, just click the bell and please like and share and I'll see you in the next one.